Okay, so um, some students asked me how to do uh, these Poisson problems, and so I'm going to show you quickly. I realize we're skipping it, but uh, because people asked, I'm going to show it to you anyway. And another question they were asking is about least, and that was a problem people were coming across. So um, here we have a cat that has an average of three litters a year, and we want to know um, what are the probabilities of something's happening. So because they don't give us any other information, that's how we know that this is a Poisson distribution. Um, Poisson distributions deal with, okay, this is what the average is, now let's look at some thing and see what the probability of this ha stuff happening is. So I'm going to do all three parts, but the question was about this one, so we'll, but we're going to do them all anyway. So in one year, what's the probability of a fertile cat producing zero litters, or no litters? All right. So to do Poisson distribution, second, zero, and we can use either PDF or CDF in this case because it's zero, okay, because the cumulative of zero is still going to be zero, so they're going to give us the exact same answer. Um, but in this case, I'm going to use PDF, and then what we do is we put in the average number, and then a comma, and then what the value is we're looking for, so in this case it's no litters, or zero and I hit enter and I find out the probability is 0 0.04978 I need to have four decimal places so 0 0.0498 All right. and I hit enter and it chugs along and chugs along and I get back down and let's go back down to problem number nine and I got it right. Okay, so now the next one, I'm going to skip this one for a second. Okay, so the fourth one here says, in one year, find the probability that one fertile cat produces exactly three litters. So in that case, we do the same problem, except instead of having zero, we're going to use three. And this we find to be, oops, yeah, this is PDF, so exactly three, so that's why we use PDF and we get 0 0.2240 so 0 0.2240 and I hit enter and I go back down to number nine and I got that one right now the last question okay which is the one we have uh, it says at least so when we look at these and we look at CDFs that gives us the stuff on the left it actually tells us what's less than that value so if we want at least we really want to look at what is at this side more than so to do that we need to subtract this value from one so it's going to be one minus and because it's at least we're saying this number or more, so we really want to find out the cumulative values. So second distribution, and we're going to use the Poisson sec cumulative distribution with three and comma. Because this says at least four, we're going to say, okay, that's four or more. We need to find out what's the probability of three or less. So three comma three. And if I hit enter, I get my value here of 0.3528, because I'm going to round up. So 0.3528, and I hit enter, and then I go back down to number 9, and I found that that's correct. So when you're doing at least, make sure you subtract the value from 1, and also make sure that you're testing 1 less than that value. I hope this was helpful. Thanks, and I'll see you on Saturday.